What's going on everyone? Welcome into another LC Transfer Room Player Analysis video. I'm Talao and today, well, it's time to analyze Huang Hee Chan. Yeah, the South Korean striker has been linked to Liverpool in the past couple of weeks. So let's learn more about him. Who is this guy? What are his stats like? And how would he fit into Liverpool? What are you waiting for? Let's get to the video. So the 25-year-old South Korean forward is currently on loan from RB Leipzig and playing at Wolverhampton Wanderers in the Premier League. He's made nine appearances for Wolves this campaign already and scored in four of them. Originally signed to RB Salzburg in 2015, Huang made only 86 appearances for them throughout his five seasons there. Now people will remember him for that infamous cutback move he made on Virgil van Dijk back in the 2019 Champions League campaign. Liverpool were leading 3 now in that one before Salzburg, who also had Takumi Minamino leading the lines in that one, came crawling back into it, but eventually in the end, Mo Salah would get Liverpool over the line. Now for his nation, Huang Hee-chan has made already over 40 appearances for the first team. He's also played for the South Korean youth levels starting from U17 all the way up to U23. Now the South Korean moved from one Red Bull club to another in 2020 before being loaned to Wolves earlier in this campaign. All right, it's time to take a more thorough look into Huang Hee Chan. We'll first start off with the transfer market stats. So these are general stats. Begin with his height, 177 centimeters tall. The position listed here is actually center forward. So it contradicts with where he's played for most of the season. We'll, we'll get to that in just a second. 13 games played so far, nine of them in the Premier League this campaign in the 2021 to 2022 season. Four goal score. That's you know, pretty impressive. So almost half of the games that he has featured, he's scored in. And again, earlier in the season, he was still in the Bundesliga and played a couple of cup games as well. Now, the positions played. So this is what is interesting. As we can see from back up here, it says center forward. So center forward. But down here it's actually that he plays more towards the left side. So eight of those 13 games he has played has come from the left wing area. So as a right-footed player, you can imagine that skill set that he has, likes to cut inside from the left area, maybe open up for a shot or an assist. But at the same time, though, it's, it's a demonstration of his versatility because he's played a couple of games at the center for role, his right wing role as well. Uh, two games there, and then just the lone match at the attacking midfielder role. But it's great to see that he can sort of play whatever position in front of the attacking line. But obviously, he prefers that left wing. I'm going to head over to FB Ref now. This site gives more of an in-depth look into players, starting off with his scouting report. So the good, the average, and the not so good starting with the good so the non-penalty expected goals this one is doing a very good job in terms of the overall percentile so he's at 85 highest mbappe at 0.6 per 90 while on each at 0 0.32 so above average easily above average there doing a solid job shows that he, he finishes off those opportunities when he gets them and also you know expected assists yeah, decent job there. But then this number is also great. So non-penalty expected goals plus expected goals assists. Um, Messi, 0.88, number one. And Wang Hee Chan, 0.47. So again, above average. That's what we like to see. Pressures. This one, I'm going to probably look at in a bit. But 19.42 per 90. 77th percentile comparing this with liverpool players which is the next xl that i'm going to pull up is very good this is an impressive stat although it's you know it's it's just slightly above average here he has 19.42 the number one has 28.95 still still this is a, a very good stat for you because it shows that 
he's willing to press. He's willing to do the defensive duties and willing to pressure the opposing player who is receiving or carrying the ball. Now, tackles and interceptions, okay, maybe room for improvement there. Blocks, same thing there. But an area that I think he should really improve on is passes attempted. So only eight there. It's you know very low in terms of the person's how way below the average. I think that maybe it's not a part of his game that he likes. Maybe he is more of a, a player who likes to do the do the work of of pressuring, of tackling, of intercepting rather than being able to pass or create chances. But still, you're you're a striker. You need to be able to you know create and link play and allow others to score goals because that's what your position is all about so yeah another interesting stat so touches and the other team's penalty box again above average that's what we like to see yeah Mbappe's stats is outrageous over here yeah that's pretty much it for a scouting report on this page time to move on cool it's time to shift over to the excel sheet so this took me quite a while to do make sure you stay with me on this video as I try to break down some of his numbers. So this is again, the scouting report number from FB ref taken over to the Excel sheet comparing with Mane, Firmino, Jota and Mina Mino. The reason I opted not to go with Mo Salah sadly is because all his stats are all green, which means they're all the best, but that wouldn't do any good for Huang comparing with the players in and around his area. So the color code here, dark green is the best, dark red, not so good or the lowest. And then the, the lighter colors are, are more average numbers. So, you know, the non-highlight areas are middle of the pack. So all of these five, you know, Mane, Firmino, Jota, regular starters, and Mina Mino, more of a bench player. So someone maybe that Huang will, will start off as if he joins Liverpool. Um, so what he does well compared to Liverpool's players, the tackles and interceptions, these two numbers are really good. They're, they are the best. So he ties he ties in terms of tackles with Firmino at 1.42 uh, per 90. But again, that's, that's, that's really good that it shows he's willing to be part of the pressing game. He's willing to lead the lines and be that energy man in front to press against the other team's defense. Interceptions also great. This is great stat to have when playing a uh, uh, Gregan pressing as well, being able to anticipate where the ball is coming, turn defense into attack. Liverpool will love to see that. Now, where stats show more that he needs work, expected goal areas, and also the passes attempted doesn't do well at all. Look at, you know, you compare it to Minamino, a player who's barely featured in the 21 to 22 campaign. He still has a much higher stat than Huang here. So Huang is the only player right here to be under 30. Don't like to see that. I think that he needs to be able to play more passes, you know, attempt more passes and also try to look for more chances going forward. Um, again, stats like progressive passes you know progressive carries this is you know carrying the ball forward on the attack again not really uh, a good number there something that Mane does really well in this department receiving the ball running five to ten yards with it and then starting the attacking phase there so as we can see it's it's not brilliant numbers compared to Mane, Firmino and Jota but at the same time though Comparing to a player that is a squad player, that is a bench player like Minamino, he is doing better than, than Minamino. So if he gets brought into Liverpool, maybe that's a role that he begins with, you know, coming off the bench. But again, he's been banging in the goals this season for Wolves. Nine appearances, four goals already. Let's see in the long run how he does and where these numbers are all at. Now that's it for Huang Hee Chan's player analysis. Would you like him at Liverpool? Well, let us know in the comments section below. I'm Talao for LFC Transfer Room. See you next time.